but then you've got to have a pretty good feel for when things break. And the only way you're going to get that is breaking a few things. <laughs> so you know <laughs> at what point they're going to break. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt when we're talking to Nigel Calder. So today's question is the following. My 1984 Detroit Diesel 8V71 run hotter than they should. Oh, he has actually two of them. And the cooling system needs to be descaled. The local old school Detroit diesel mechanic recommends Barnacle Buster in the raw water cooling system overnight. He doesn't recommend opening the heat exchanger due to concern about breaking a frozen bolt. Another diesel mechanic advises against flushing the system out of concern for weakening the walls of the aftercoolers and possibly allowing salt water into the cylinders. He recommends opening the aftercoolers and having the cores professionally descaled. What do you think? And that's actually a good question because I have the same thing coming up with my boat. Uh, it's a Yanma engine, but let's see what Nigel uh, thinks about this. So, uh, I don't know, you can go either way. Um, historically, descaling chemicals have been quite uh, acidic. And we have had issues, I mean, we're talking decades ago, with um, corrosive damage um, within the engine from the descaling fluids. But, but nowadays, most of those descaling fluids are pretty safe to use in just about any engine. There's a Barnacle Buster is a, is a popular brand, but there's a couple of others on, in the market that you can do an online search for descaling fluids. And you can perhaps do a particular search for your engine to see if there's any a recommended brand for that engine that's not going to mess with the different metals in the engine. Uh, so I wouldn't be too worried about um, doing the, the barnacle buster or similar route and descaling that way. But on the other hand, you will do a better job if you can disassemble the whole thing and, and descale it professionally, send it off to the radiator shop or whatever. Uh, but uh, with old engines, there is always that risk of breaking things off. And once you start disturbing old engines, there's often unintended consequences. You start to open up other problems. I might have a go at, at trying the bolts first, seeing how easy it is to get that apart. But then you've got to have a pretty good feel for when things break. And the only way you're going to get that is breaking a few things. And so you know <laughs> at what point they're going to break. So, and then, you know, uh, Matthias, our... Uh, our partner here that helps with the videos re replaced his water pump on his engine and he ended up breaking two or three of the bolts on that. It's an old engine. Uh, so it's a very real risk. Yeah. And then he had to drill them out and retap them and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. That's what I'm worried about. I as think well. I would try the descaling approach first uh, yeah. and, and just leave yeah. the engine alone. I, I, I don't like fooling with really old engines um, just mm -hmm. because of the, the fact that half the time you end up creating new problems for yourself. And then it's really hard to get parts. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, I mean, if you do this, make sure that whatever you do, do it at the end of the season and not like a week before you want to go on your, on your cruising. Um, because if you need to order spare parts or something goes wrong, it might take a while. Well, thanks, Nigel. And um, if you guys want to learn more about uh, diesel engine maintenance and how to ideally avoid those problems or make sure they don't happen, um, Check out our brand new course at uh, boathow2.com and marine diesel engine maintenance. Check it out and see you soon.